Not everyone is born a good dancer. For as long as I can remember, I've always dreamed of becoming a good dancer. But every time I tried, I ended up looking like this. Hit that like button if you want to know how I turned that all around. What's up, beautiful dancers? Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, Black to Ballroom. I'm your girl, Crystal, here to give you the inside scoop on everything you need to know in order to make your ballroom journey successful. And tonight, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a uh, pillow talk with your girl, Crystal, okay? I want to talk about basically my struggle when it came to, to dancing, okay? Because people come up to me and they're like, you, you've had to have some kind of background. Like you've had to, to, to been a dancer when you were little growing up. And I'm like, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, and all honestly, um, I, I sucked. I really did. I could not dance. And I know that there's a stigma that's out there that all black girls can dance, but whatever gene that is, was severely, <laughs> underdeveloped in Crystal's case, okay? Because I had no sense of rhythm. I was stiff and I just, I couldn't dance. My family could dance and I thought they were so cool. Like I wanted to be just like them. Like I wanted to be able to go out there and dance. And I worked hard, I worked my butt off. Like just around the house, around, you know, my cousins and you know, my, Everybody, my whole entire family, okay? They were, they're just full of rhythm dancers and they just, when I say rhythm, not like ballroom, but like they just have rhythm and style and swag and they could just dance. Um, me, on the other hand, like I was like, I'm gonna freaking learn how to dance. Like I'm, I'm gonna be good. Like one day they're gonna see me <laughs> and I'm gonna prove that I know how to dance just like them. So um, what I typically would do is I just, <laughs> this is this may sound stupid and crazy, but I remember I would just sit there and take like 80s and 90s dance musicals. Uh, my favorite, uh, probably the most funniest one was called, it was a movie called Fast Forward. And look it up because you don't look at those outfits and you're like, oh my gosh, Crystal, I can't believe you were practicing. That was your model. But yes, I would sit there every day in the summertime and I would just practice those moves until I got it flawlessly and I would perform them for my granny and bless her little heart <laughs> she would sit there and watch those crazy performances like oh that's my sugar look at her she getting it um and then I just you know I don't know that's just kind of like I just I just really like in my heart of hearts, I wanted to dance. I wanted to be a performer. I started doing this like workout video, like this dance video called The Grind. Oh, oh my gosh. It was, when I tell you, I was proud of these moves. <laughs> it was bad. I'm over here looking like this and I'm like, what? But I thought I was the stuff. Like you couldn't tell me nothing. Okay, like I would take it and I'm like, oh, we going to the high school dance. I'm about to, I'm about to do this dance. Um, so no, not everybody is just naturally born with the gift of dance. Okay. I, I think that no matter where you start, um, it's definitely achievable, but you have to be willing to put in that work, 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 der, 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 der. <laughs> anybody can learn how to dance. Um, and then eventually like over time, I just, I saw more and more of what I wanted to do. Like, I want to dance in a musical. And my, <laughs> my mom would be like, girl, shut up. Stop singing and dancing in my house. Like, stop singing and dancing to every question I ask you. Just get down here to do the dang old dishes. So, like, I just, I just knew that I want. It was just a dream of mine. Like, I've always wanted to perform in front of people. I've always wanted to dance. Like, I just think that it's just... It's beautiful and I love the story that it tells. It's, to me, it's a time where I can just be some something different. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like dressed up in a costume. But I don't know, anybody can dance. You can learn how to dance and it's never too late. Um, so just try it. 
And like I said, even if you start off looking crazy, thinking, you know, like as long as you feel comfortable, you do that dance. And uh, until next time, if you like what I had to say, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a good night.